YouTube, we're back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best setup out there, in my opinion, hands down. No controller. I do own a controller, but in my opinion, the Rain 12, of course, with the Rain 72 mixer. Stay tuned. say the rain 12 is the best out there and it looks the best like i always believe that vinyl from the technique 1200 because i have dj with the technique 1200s and i do own a pair but it's the feel of it and it's the look of it i don't have nothing playing right now but if you just look at it it looks great you know what I mean? You got two of them going, and it just looks great. So, hands down, like, it might be heavy. It definitely is heavier than pretty much every controller out there. But that SZ2 controller is definitely heavy. So, while I say it's the best, in my opinion, because it looks the best, it might cost the most, but if you're DJing and you're serious about your craft, don't put a price on it. You know, I mean, keep stuff in your budget. I always say that because I started off, uh, I forgot what I had back in the day first, but I ended up getting a pair of techniques like 25 years ago. So I've been using the techniques and then I left techniques and got a controller. Jo uh, the wheel on there is kind of too small for me. So, because I'm so used to the, the, uh, I'm used to the turntables. I'm used to vinyl. So I definitely need a 12-inch record platter. And it just looks great. So people might people might have their opinions on the controller or whatever. I'm not. Use what works for you. In this video, I'm saying to you what looks the best and pretty much is the best out there. So that's what I want to tell you guys in this video. All right, so once again, I told you it's the best look out there. It's the feel, it's the look for me. I feel like original DJ started with vinyl. Uh, Rain definitely did a spectacular job of just even copying the, uh, the technique look. Of course, you got your big mixer, which is the best. I like it. This Mag 3 um, crossfader is like butter. And I'm going to make a video later on of just showing you guys how to uh, adjust it. And you got to keep it clean. One thing you got to do, keep that mixer clean. And I'll show you in another video how to do that. But, like I say, this is why I just like the feel of it. I like the look of it. You can't go wrong. If you're using a controller, that's cool because I use a controller. But I just think for my streaming, uh, at home practicing, I just think this is it. And I do have the techniques. I got a rain controller. I mean a uh, rain controller. I have the Pioneer SZ2 controller, which I definitely love. It's a four channel. I love the two-channel battle mixer, or the, any two channels consider a battle mixer. I'm not hooking nothing else up to it. This is all. This is it. And once again, that crossfader is just something else. And uh, the feel, it's just the feel for me. It's almost, it's not a technique. I'm going to tell you right now, because sometimes these rains i don't know if it's just uh i don't know what it is but sometimes they do act a little funny but that's probably 
5% out of a month I use them. So, But like I said, I'm just showing you guys why I like them and why I love them. And I want to encourage other DJs out here to just think about considering getting the rain 12. And they got another mixer if you don't want this one. I'm just telling you, get what works for you, but I say this is the best setup out there, hands down. I might be wrong. I know they got a new controller out. They got a new one. But I really don't like it. I like how they put the uh, pads on there. I forget the name of it. I'll look that up. Show you a picture of it right here, probably. Booyah. But once again, I just told you I just like the feel of it. It looks great and everything. So let's just see how these things work a little bit. Have fun. That's it. Yeah. We just break it down a little bit, have fun. Yeah. Let's have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's something about this crossfader. It's like butter. <gasps> I do think one turntable is 900, 900. Of course, your mix is like 1400, 1500, but it's going to last you forever. Just take care of it. I have a video that uh, I'll show you how to clean it. Just take care of it. It'll last you forever. And I, like I said, I use it for at home. I use it for all the uh, streaming. And it's very important. Your stream's got to look good. I have a little light. And I use this background right here, just this background, and I do my thing. Because when the streamers look at you, and I think this is important for everybody to know this, when the streamers look at you, they give you credit for your background. But they want to see the movement. They want to see you working. The lights, that looks all pretty. That stuff looks good. But they want to see you working. <laughs> Well, YouTube, I showed you the reason why I picked the rain for the number one setup for 2022. And uh, if you just want to see more videos of me just unboxing DJ equipment, using the DJ equipment, or even just showing you how to clean it, show you how to do whatever with DJ equipment, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell, like, always leave a comment. Till next time, keep DJing, stay safe.